Count it down. Four, three, two, check. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Yuri inspired makeup tutorial from Girls Generation's Comeback for Lionheart and this is based off their teaser photos since the MV didn't come out yet the day I am filming and this is actually going to be a collab with six other girls each of us are going to be doing one member since we couldn't find eight people to do this collab with the only member we didn't do is Hyoyeon so for any of my Hyoyeon um, stands out there I'm so sorry that we couldn't find someone to do her makeup look here are the girls in this collab for Tiffany we have Bunny and then for Taeyeon we have Faye, Sohyun is Jeannie, Yuri is me of course, Sooyoung is Jessie, Yuna is Chenling, and Sunny is Taeya. And those are all the girls doing this collab. But yeah, be sure to check out their tutorials because they are amazing K pop beauty YouTubers. And keep on watching for my tutorial on Yuri. So start off with a clean face and apply your favorite moisturizer and we're going to hop right into the face makeup with a primer of course and this one is from a Dr. Brandt and I actually got this as a point and perk at Sephora. Um, I don't know, fun fact, I don't know. Um, but then we're also going to be applying foundation, concealer, or anything just to cover up any imperfections and also highlight our face because Yuri is quite glowy in the photo that I was referencing and I'm actually using a cushion after foundation because I wanted to bring a little more brightness into my face other than using an illuminator because that would make me look a little too oily so I did that and I put on concealer set it all with powder <laughs> taking a contouring stick and contouring my face because Yuri has a quite slim face and also a slim nose so I'm trying to recreate that with this contour stick from NYX and I'm blending that out with a contouring brush. <laughs> Then I'm taking a highlighter and highlighting the high points of my face to bring up more brightness and dimension to the high points, like I said. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes, I'm just going to be grooming my eyebrows and filling them in. And yes, my eyebrows are quite bushy at the moment. I haven't got them done in a long time since I'm on vacation and I don't really care anymore. But uh, hopefully it doesn't look too bad on camera. I'm going to clean it up with some concealer. But the shape I'm going for is a little thinner than usual with... Um, how I'm using the concealer. I'm just kind of shaping a little differently because Yuri's eyebrows are super thin in the photo um, but I don't look too uh, like right with super thin eyebrows so I'm gonna fill it in kind of like my style but also um, be inspired by her eyebrow shape. <laughs> Do whatever you want with your eyebrows. They are yours and they frame your face so make sure they look right on you. <laughs> on to eyeshadow we're gonna apply primer first because that will help our eyeshadows stay on longer and ensure the longevity like I said and we're gonna hop in with a dark brown bronzy color and apply it to the outer V area and draw a very very sharp edge and also go up um, near our crease a little over so it can create a little more hoodness and then we're also applying a gold eyeshadow to the inner eye corner area or the inner half where we did not apply the bronze brown eyeshadow and then I'm blending more into the crease to create a little more depth and then I'm also applying the gold to the inner eye corners and the brown to the outer lower lash line and also applying a thin line of black liner to the upper lash line and also waterline and tight line. Hopefully you understood that. I kind of said that a little too fast, but here it is. Then I'm applying mascara to my upper and lower lashes, and that completes the eye makeup. Moving on to the lips, I'm applying a very vampy red lipstick, and this is a regular formula, not too glossy and not really matte, and I'm applying this kind of... Um, 
in a not too sharp lip shape. Um, Yuri's Cupid's Bow doesn't show too much, so I'm kind of reshaping my lips to make a little more smooth line, kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I saw. And then I'm also applying a berry colored lip tint to add a little more dimension to the lips, and also applying the lipsticks to my cheeks because I want it to match. And that completes the makeup look. Oh, it's a never gonna look back. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. This was super fun for me to recreate and this is a great collab with a bunch of my YouTube friends so be sure to check out all their videos right here and I'll be linking them on the screen and also in the description and adding cards so make sure you do click on those videos because they are amazing uh, beauty K-pop YouTubers. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and bye beauties! The only one may, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not